I have a transit in Paris that is 19 hours long. Yep. Since I'm comfortable and cozy right here, I do have a little airport hotel cabin, which I'm going to show you in a little bit here. I wanted to use this time to make this video and talk about travel restrictions to and from Morocco during the pandemic and share with you my experience, what documents I needed, what type of tests for COVID-19 I had to provide, and all of the little struggles that I had throughout the way going from the US to Morocco and then from Morocco back to the US. But first, I really want to show you this place because it's so very cool. This is my first time staying in a airport hotel cabin and I think it's a great way to just relax and get prepared and ready for the next leg of the journey. Wanna take a look? Let's go! I was on a plane to California I had all the time I'd ever need Did you even know I was looking for you? I think that I was hiding in between How long? How long? How long? Ready? This is the bed. It is a queen size bed and you may not see or think that it's uh, tall enough, but I'm just gonna go in here, press this. There we go. There is a little lamp over there and a little table. You just have some dinner or you have something to eat. Just pull and there you go. You've got a table. You can slide the, the bed back all the way up. So this is where I had a meal earlier. And there's a TV up there. You probably have to ask for the remote control. And there are all type of outlets here. USB, HDMI, uh, Euro plug, and typical American outlets that I'm using right here to charge my camera battery. And then I've got my drink up there waiting for me. And there's a mirror uh, next to the bed. Uh, there's a lamp over there. So that's a queen size bed. It's pretty comfortable. I was laying there earlier. And then right here, I have all of my luggage bags whatsoever. There's a mirror right here. That is very handy dandy. And then that is my favorite part, the shower and the bathroom. Can you guys imagine how comfortable and nice it is just to be able to take a shower in the middle of your journey? Oh, so very refreshing. So I've got my makeup and my toiletry. They do have a hair dryer in case you need it. And then right there, they give you obviously towels and they have some shampoo and body wash. And to be fair, the water was warm. It was a very comfortable and nice shower and I honestly can't ask for more. And then they also have curtains here when you want to sleep in case, you know, you just want to have this area separated from the shower and the bathroom. All you have to do is pull the curtains and voila! For this little tiny airport cabin i had to pay 125 euros they do have the lounge area where we have access to coffee and water and we can purchase snacks i know 125 euros for one night in an airport is not ideal price wise but i know that this is my opportunity to relax and be ready for tomorrow so i did not really mind paying this amount but anyway now that me showing you my place for the night is out of the way let's talk about travel restrictions to and from morocco first thing when you want to travel to morocco before you plan anything make sure that you are clear to go this is specifically for no moroccan citizens or no nationals of morocco when i was flying from the us to morocco i'm a dual citizen i had my american passport and my moroccan passport i was told in the airport that no moroccan nationals are not allowed to enter Morocco especially during this holiday season and that this restriction is planned to be lifted around mid-January 2021 So what I'm trying to tell you even though Morocco started opening up slowly to tourists and tourism activities There are some rules changing every now and then so make sure if you are American Make sure that you go to us.gov the link in the description box and read about the latest restrictions and latest rules and make sure that you are clear to go to Morocco if you are clear and you're good to go or if you are a citizen of Morocco you're going back to travel or visit friends and family obviously the one thing that you are thinking about is your test results or COVID-19 test results now it's very mandatory in order for you to travel and to enter Morocco to have a negative COVID-19 PCR test and they are very particular about the type of the test so even before entering to Morocco, when you are just leaving the US and you're checking in, you are going to be asked for results of your 
COVID-19 test and it has to clearly state your first and last name and the type of the test being a PCR test. So when you take the test, it has to be taken 72 hours before departures and you have to make sure that the results are in your hand before you check in. So I was thinking before I travel to Morocco that probably even if my results are not out yet, I can probably travel by the time I get to Morocco, I should be good to go. But that is not going to work because right when you check in and all the way until you arrive to Morocco, everyone's going to be asking you to show them either the document if you have it printed or you have to show them on your phone so that's number one thing that you have to worry about the second thing if you are traveling to morocco you have to fill a travel declaration form i am going to leave the link in the description box if you want to print it and fill it ahead of time this way you are definitely going to save a lot of time waiting on the line and getting things squared away so that travel declaration form they're going to ask you some rudimentary information about you you, where you are going are you experiencing any symptoms and so on if you don't have the form with you if you don't have it printed for one reason or the other although I think you should when you arrive to Morocco there will be a stand with a lot of forms for people to grab and fill but just a tip so that you can save some time so that's number two now depending on what airline you are flying with there might be some rules here and there but for me for example I flew with Air France so when I was in the plane they provided us with some forms for the airline to collect and these forms uh, require some information about us the seat that you were in the flight number and so on so that form they gave it to us on board we filled it and then they collected it towards the end when you're in the airplane obviously every airline has different rules but it seems like most of them or the majority of airlines agree on wearing the face mask and it being mandatory the one thing that I noticed I was actually wearing a cloth face covering and I was asked to switch to a surgical mask I did not have one handy so they provided me with two and they asked me to change it every three hours and just to be on the safe side for me personally just because I wanted to make sure that I'm not taking anything home to my parents or family I was wearing on top of my surgical mask I was wearing a face shield I'm also going to leave a link in the description box if you guys are curious to to grab one I grabbed a pair of two from Amazon and, and and I liked it I think it worked just fine other than that when it comes to food and drinks with the Air France for example uh, they were providing their regular services I didn't feel like there was a huge difference I needed food I had food I needed water I had water it was very straightforward so that's pretty much it for flying from the US to Morocco when I arrived to Morocco obviously again they are going to ask you for the travel declaration form that I was talking about earlier and they are going to ask you for a PCR test and you should be go to get in now when you enter to Morocco depending on what time of the year there are a couple of things that you have to be aware of when I arrived to Morocco there was a curfew in effect from 9 p.m. to 6 a.m. and you do have to follow and abide by the rules otherwise you are going to be fine restaurants coffee shops cafes they do close 8 p.m. so you really have to hustle your way before 9 p.m. just to make sure that you get to either your hotel or the place you are staying because you don't want any conflicts with authorities and when it comes to conflicts with authorities I was going to say and I wrote about it in one of my articles in the website also the link in the description box in which I talk about the importance especially if you are going to Morocco as a tourist to either go with a travel agency or a guide it's going to be very beneficial especially right now during this time of uncertainties it's really nice to have a backup or someone to stand for you in case anything goes wrong really I mean even if you get infected God forbid you will have some support and you will have someone who's going to take care of you wearing a face mask is mandatory you have to wear it in public when you go to businesses if you are walking in the street and even in the car which I found to be a little bit weird so even traveling with my family in a car we were wearing masks if you are not wearing a face mask you are going to be fined 300 dirhams that is about 35 US dollars so make sure to follow the rules 
and then the last thing to think about when you are in Morocco is traveling from one city to the other or from one region to the other there are some areas of the country if you are traveling you have to have a written authorization from the authorities stating your first and last name and why you are traveling so this is a very tricky rule for me for example when i was in my hometown and i would want to travel to marrakesh for the airport i would have to have a form that says that i am traveling for xyz purpose and that has to be issues by the authority so you really have to be very particular and ask around and make sure that you are aware of what's expected from you and when we were driving from my hometown Safi to Marrakesh we were stopped at least three times by the police and they asked for that particular form and we had to show it to them so these are just a couple of things that I wanted to share with you so that you have an idea of what to expect and so you know what questions you have to ask so I hope that you guys found this to be useful and if you do have any questions please do let me know in a comment I will try to answer them to the best of my knowledge and if you did find this video to be useful please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel my name is Habiba this is Trekking Pals and love traveling hiking back I am starting to get a little bit thirsty here so I'm gonna grab myself some water and I'm gonna go get a bite to eat and I will talk to you guys very very soon take care everyone On a plane to California